Central North Carolina has a lot going on right now. If music is more of your thing, there's also Dreamville happening mm -hmm. for the first time in two years. Yeah, the anticipation is building for the festival's return to Raleigh's Dorothea Dix Park this weekend. CBS 17 Steve Sprasha is there now as all those preparations are getting underway. Steve. Well, as you can see, we're right behind the main stage. That's as close as they'll let us go. As you indicated, two years ago was the last time the festival appeared in Dorothea Dix Park because the pandemic put an end to it for two years. This afternoon, we've watched workers scurrying around for hours right now, making sure that all the sub venues are ready for when this thing kicks off two days from now. Back in 2019, this festival brought in nearly $4 million to the local economy, and the city is hoping for that same kind of economic boost this time around. One of the biggest concerns about this event will be parking. It's expected to attract 40,000 people, and they won't be able to park on site at Dorothea Dix. People will have to find parking at the Centennial Campus for NC State, or do ride share, or perhaps even drop off. Raleigh police will be instrumental in traffic control for this festival. Police say they also have a contingency plan in place, but they won't say what it is for security purposes. One of the agreements organizers had to make is that the festival will end by 11 o'clock both nights to comply with city noise ordinances. They also had to promise that they would make sure they leave the park in the same condition they found it. Back in 2019, that was no problem. We anticipate it won't be a problem this time around either. We should also tell you, this festival is about as legitimate as they come, but scammers are using festivals like this and the Final Four to create excitement over fake websites they're building about fake events. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you how to protect yourself from fake tickets and fake events that scammers are trying to entice you into. Join us then. For now, reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. It's a uh, big weekend it is. for everybody. Steve, thank you very much. Always got to be on the lookout. Mm -hmm. The weather's going to be play a big part, too, tomorrow. Yeah, so storms are rolling through, and I'm seeing that tarp uh, behind Steve. I mean, we're going to have 40-mile-an-hour wind gusts, and we're going to have severe storms producing damage.